Greetings, dear viewers! I'm Quill Quickcard, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. Last time, Celeste got kidnapped by Setzer, took her aboard his ship, and she helped Locke, Edgar, and Sabin climb up. Enough! But the real show starts now. It's time for Act Two. Where's Setzer? He should be right back. What are you doing in here? You're not Maria, are you? Setzer, we need your help. We need to get to Vector. Your ship is the only... If you're not Maria, then we have nothing to talk about. Wait! We heard that your ship is the finest vessel in the world. And that you were the world's greatest gambler. I'm the king of Figaro. If you help us, you'll be well rewarded. Come with me. Then you'll... Don't misunderstand me. I still haven't said I'll help you. Welcome to the Blackjack. Hmm. Business has been awfully slow lately, thanks to the Empire. You're not the only one suffering. The Empire has been toppling towns and villages left and right. They're abusing their Magitek power and trying to take over the world. My kingdom was allied with the Empire. Until recently. Maybe you want to be a slave to the Empire, but I sure don't. We're at least together in hating the Empire, right? So please. You know, I think you may be even cuter than Maria. Huh? Alright. If you... If Celeste becomes my wife, I'll help you. Otherwise... What? Are you crazy? Fine. Great! It's settled. On one condition. We'll flip this coin. If it's heads, you help us. If it's tails, I'm yours. Well, Mr. Gambler? <laughs> I like it. I accept. Plus, are you serious? If you marry that guy... Ready? Heads. I win. Now it's time for you to hold up your end of the bargain. A valuable trinket indeed. I've never seen a double-headed coin before. That coin! Edgar, don't tell me! Oh, he did, Sabin. Your brother tricked you. I'm afraid you've been hustled, Mr. Gambler. But that's part of the game now, isn't it? Ha! <laughs> How low can you stoop? I love it! All right, I'll help you. Gambling against the Empire with nothing to lose but my life. I haven't felt so excited in years. My life's a chip in your pile. Annie up. That is a pretty cool character introduction. I can't believe this clunky old thing can fly. You sure it'll stay in the air? When things fall, they fall. Life's a game of chance. You play your cards, and fate plays hers. They'll spot us in the air from miles away if we try to fly this thing into the Empire. We'd better land a safe distance away. 
That sounds like a good idea. I'll stay on board and keep the ship ready to take off at a moment's notice. Well, that's a bit ominous now, isn't it? That's a cool shot right there. Hello, Vector. Oh boy, you look bigger than I remember. <laughs> Alright, first things first. Uh, on board the ship, we have a few NPCs. This guy will instantly heal you fully. Uh, this guy will sell you things, which is pretty nice. Um, I think it's worth grabbing a few of those just in case. Uh, let's see. You're doing okay with Kieran. You've got Roma. I think it's worth shuffling these around a bit, just so that everybody has at least some basic uh, healing and elemental magic going on. Uh, Sabin can take this so he can learn fire. And then that puts you on Kate Sith. The airship itself is actually an explorable interior space. Which I think is a, a really nice touch. It helps the world feel more alive. Uh... As you can see, they really play into the gambling aesthetic. I love that they've got, like, roulette tables, card tables. It's just... It, it just looks really, really good. And, of course, you can go up on deck, too. Uh, ig ig ignore the sky. We are, we are totally on the ground right now. This is a very important NPC. Uh, he will let you unequip everyone or simply those not in your party. I'm actually going to unequip everybody. Uh, it doesn't take off the espers. That's the one thing you have to do manually. But it does let me shuffle around a bit. Um, I think Celeste going with the double earrings is still a good plan. Uh, the Rune Blade's good. Green Beret's got fantastic defense. Uh, not to mention it raises maximum HP by an eighth, which is just great. We're going to need a significant amount of of defense as we go into this next area. It is uh, challenging. Now, for you, uh, a Hermes Sandals and... I guess just a white cape for more defense. Uh, Sabin is also going to get a Hermes Sandals and a Hyper Wrist for more strength. Yep. And lock in the area where we're going, uh, there's going to be significantly less that we can get done with just uh, non-elemental attacks.
Um, but we will get some elemental weapons soon. That will be helpful. Okay, that looks like a good loadout. And with two characters having Hermes sandals, uh, we're going to be able to get a lot of actions in per battle. So, there are three towns... Well, there's four towns on the southern continent. Uh, two Chocobo stables. Welcome to Albrook, the occupied port city. And uh, a small thing that we can go to. Obey the Empire. There's a garrison on the east side of the continent that won't actually provide us anything if we go to it right now. But some of the shopping we can get done here on the southern continent is worth it. There's something important on the eastern edge of the continent. The Imperials built an observation post there and won't let anyone beyond it. Defy us and you'll regret it. We have to bribe the Imperial soldiers or they won't let us do business here in our own city. Yep, pretty typical for an occupied force. Sheesh, the soldiers think they own this place. This pub's pretty much an Imperial clubhouse these days. Yeah, definitely looks like it, doesn't it? You probably don't even have any money. Welcome, tee hee hee. Hey, you're not an Imperial, get out of here. Yeah, I think I've had a bit too much to drink. Shove off, can't you see how busy? Yeah, I can see that you're picking up the local girls. I get it. Just gonna take your elixir and call it a day. Here is the relic shop. Um... No, I really don't need an amulet right now. Maybe in the future. I study monsters. The ones on this continent seem to be exceptionally vulnerable to magic. The Imperial Capital of Vector is right at the center of this continent. Important stop. The shops. Uh, Venom Claws, Bastard Swords, hmm, Bastard Swords, might be interesting. Uh, I'm actually gonna skip it. We're, we're gonna get better options anyway, and physical attacks aren't going to be particularly important. I'm a scholar of ancient weaponry. Two, thousand, two weapons known as Ultima Weapons were used during the War of the Magi a thousand years ago. One was a sword whose blade formed from its wielder's strength. The other was a monster born for destruction. Yes, this game had, I believe, the first Ultima Weapon in the series. Find excellent weapons and armor in the shops in Zen to the north and Miranda to the west. Hello. Uh, a twist headband, a priest smiter. Hmm. The extra magic defense from those is pretty dang worth it. Yeah, going from 4 magic defense to 14. That is non-trivial. Don't mind me, I'm just ransacking your home. The port's off limits. So that's it for the first town. I'm going to hit uh, all three before I go to... The capital of Vector, which is right there. Alright, first new enemy of the continent, the Grass Worm. 
Sure, why not? One nice thing about having Sabin at this point of the game is that the Rising Phoenix attack is doing elemental damage. So it's especially powerful against things at this point. This is the really the point of the game that sort of... It, I would say encourages forcefully you to utilize magic over physical effects. But... It's not really necessary when, you know, your physical damage is coming from a chainsaw which bypasses their defenses anyway. Ooh, a tiger mask. Nice. Good steel lock. I think that kills. Uh, is that... Tiger Mask. Holy crap. Um, that does give a lot of boosts to a lot of stats. But at this cost of my magic defense. Uh, I, I still think it's worth it to boost the power of, uh, of his blitzes. Alright, this is the town of Miranda. This is the town that the uh, wounded soldier in... Uh, what was the name of that town? Whatever, the town on the Velt was. This is the town the soldier there was from. Miranda used to be the most beautiful town on this continent. Then the Empire came along. Now look at it. These soldiers are out of control and there's nothing we can do about it. How long do we have to put up with this? Hello, sir. You sell... Ooh. Uh, a mithril vest sounds good. A couple mithril males sounds good. I think just one Mithril Helm for the person not in the Green Beret. Uh, yeah, Mithril Male. Oh, you two are both in Berets. Ah, whatever. Whatever. It's not like I'm losing much by wasting my money. My son was forced into the Imperial Army. Oh, I hope he comes home safe. I don't think that's likely. Zen and Albrecht were invaded by the Empire, too. Place your bets here. Yep, they're just hosting dog fights in the town. My dog's the strongest. Hmm. Pretty messed up group of people. Do you have any interesting weapons? Boomerang is stronger than the full moon. For my immediate purposes, that's enough of a difference that it's worth the investment. Uh, okay, these two are supposed to be moving a lot faster. He won't stop asking me to marry him. I need show my love. This is... He wrote me back. He's all right. Oh, thank goodness. Well, this is the, uh girlfriend of that wounded soldier. Mobliz! That's the name of the town. The wounded soldier in Mobliz. Poor guy.
Yes, I will take a ride, sir, because I do not want to have to walk to the next town. Even though there are a number of uh, good monster encounters, it is a rather lengthy walk. Come on, stop getting stuck on the map. Thank you, Mr. Bird. And here is the town of Zen. Anyone who opposes the will of the Empire will be strung up for treason. Obey the Empire. Most of the town's youths were led off to serve in the Imperial Army. Our family was slaughtered by the Empire. Yeah, Empire is, uh... Not, not well liked, shall we say. What do you have? Anything interesting? An air knife... No. Nothing I don't already have better options, then. This town belongs to the Empire. I'll tell you a secret. The Empire has a weapon called the Guardian. It's immobile, but ridiculously powerful. If you ever see it, run away and don't look back. Shove off. Can't you see I'm busy? I'm walking in a circle. My grandfather once told me there's a huge gate deep inside the cave on the eastern edge of the continent. Where's that boy of mine? I told him not to play outside. It's dangerous with all these soldiers around. Hello! Defy us and you'll regret it. Uh, Earring, they do have Hermes sandals, but I've already got two. I don't particularly need a third right now. Okay. Let's... I think there's one more Chocobo stable right here. But I'm just going to walk back... Maybe get another encounter. Maybe find something else new. Find some jokers instead, maybe. Good job, Saban. Ow! Ow! Stop stabbing me with your umbrellas. Beautiful. Anything interesting to fight in the forest? Yes! We have found the Lit War Chickens. Uh, these things actually worry me a bit. Oh, thank God, they're all dead. And here is the town of Vector, the capital city of the Empire. Haven't seen you around here before. Why don't you go climb back down whatever hole you crawled out of? Screw you, man. Hello, couple in bed. I think I'm going to stay here and apply to become a soldier. And join the same army that destroyed our village? What about our promise to start over in Miranda? Alright, don't mind me. Just just spying on you lying in bed. Nothing weird about this. I 
Are you loyal to the Empire? I am absolutely not. What? They have some guards come in and try to rough us up. This is a bad idea for them. Hmm. You just might be able to do it. Listen, youngsters, please don't give up. She'll fully heal you, which is nice. Welcome. Uh, nope. Nothing new here. So, there's multiple levels to the town. I heard General Celeste went over to the Returners. Why join the side that has no hope of winning? Sid, the director of Magitech research, is a genius. He gave my son the gift of cure magic. And nothing different for armor, either. The more further north you go in the city, the more heavily fortified it is. And cure. Now, my objective is to get past these guys, but instead we'll go up here first. General Leo's never had a Magitek infusion. He's a warrior's warrior. If you talk to soldiers on this side of town, you, your returners, they will fight you. And this is where we start to really get enemies that uh, basic attacks will not be effective against. Luckily, Rising Phoenix is not a basic attack. You'll see how little damage Locke actually pulls off with that boomerang. See? Only 80 damage. And then even after you win, you sort of throw yourself out of town. That was close. And you don't actually have to interact with those soldiers to trigger that. Uh, it's enough if they just touch you. Which makes it rather difficult to get too far north in this part of town. But you can make it. And you can find a pub. You're returners, aren't you? Hey, that's cool. I don't judge. Want to hear something juicy? All the soldiers at the Magitech Research Facility can use magic now. All thanks to that genius Sid, apparently. Here's another one for you. That Kefka guy? They say he was Sid's first experimental Magitech knight. But the process hadn't been perfected. So while Kefka ended up with extraordinary magic power, it shattered his mind. Yep, yeah, I'll believe that. One of those rumors are about them extracting magic from monsters at the research facility are true. Albrecht, Miranda, and Zen are all controlled by the Empire now. It's for their own good, really. I really don't think it is. Okay. So I don't want to get into a struggle with any of those. You can actually go up to the Imperial Palace, but if you attempt it... Yep. They don't let you. Filthy Returner Scum! And instead, they pit you in a fight you absolutely cannot win. There is nothing you can do at this point in the game that will get you past this Guardian. Rising Phoenix, zero damage. Blizzard, zero damage. Mug, zero damage. Chainsaw, missed. 
Or a cannon. Zero damage. Drill. Zero damage. When your drill does zero damage, you're screwed. And then it hits you for that. <laughs> so you are very, very much prevented from getting inside the Imperial Palace right now. And these big guys, I think they're proto-armors? They are proto-armors. We can get through this without Edgar. We'll be fine. We'll heal up before I actually go into the dungeon. There. See? Easy enough. Save and learn sleep. All right, let's heal up and actually head into the research facility itself. Those guys won't let me in, but this guy, shh, I'm a returner. I've heard all about you. I'll distract the soldiers. You use this box to climb up onto those girders and sneak into the research facility. You ready? Hell yes. Oh, this cat is too many. Get out of here, you bum. Go, 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 go. Oh, jeez. Oh, At least they're kind enough to make sure he's alright. Or maybe just kick him in the leg. Either way. And the Magitech facility is just up here. This is one of my favorite areas in the game. With a unique theme. Ooh, yeah. So, getting around this facility... Uh, requires a fair bit of ladders and uh, tubes. By the way, those onion knights, uh, yeah, it looks pretty clear to my eyes that those are just packs of child soldiers. It's kind of messed up. There is a good amount of hidden treasure in this dungeon that is absolutely worth grabbing. There's an ether. More of them, huh? Flash is a very powerful tool as well. When I was younger, I never really used it much, and I think it's because, for whatever reason, I never really realized that it damages the enemy. So we've got a hook over here. We can use it to cross and get a flame tongue. This is our first elemental weapon that we find here, and we're going to give it to Locke so it can actually dish out a lot more damage. Elemental damage will bypass their physical defenses and make Locke's basic attacks viable again. There's an X potion. Getting that chest up there is actually going uh, to take a fair bit of effort. 
There is a rather lengthy hidden passage in this dungeon that is not readily apparent. There we... Oh, well, okay. That honestly did not do much, but... I, I, I appreciate you trying, Locke. Alright, so let's learn slow and confuse. So you're on Kieran, you're doing okay. I do think it's worth letting someone learn float. But Sabin's only one thing away from finishing up with Siren anyway. A thunder blade, that's another elemental weapon. Uh Honestly there's barely even a reason to use it, but sure, Celeste, you can have it. Edgar's tools really are overpowered. Huh. How did I mess that up? I think that kills the whole group. Alright, Sabin has learned fire. So, Sabin... You know what? Sure, I'll I'll give you Kate Sith. Uh, Celeste, yeah, you you can have Siren again. I'm gonna come for you, treasure chest. It's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna come for you. I think one Phoenix and one Flash kills the whole pack. Good job, Edgar. Yep. Lock learned Cure, Libra, and Silence. That's good. Okay. Just going to have to deal with the encounter rate a bit here. This episode is already running a little long. Yeah, I do think I should cut it. There's still there's still a fair amount to this dungeon that I have to do. So I will see you all on the next one. Hey, Dragon Boots.